Phobias are intense fears. You can work with phobias using EFT for yourself. However, you might feel that your fear is so intense that you don't even want to go there. You don't even know where to start. In that case, the place to start is with exactly that thought. For instance, even though I don't even want to think about this, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I just don't want to go there, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I don't even want to think about this, I deeply and completely accept myself. Then continue tapping in this general way, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to go there. Until the intensity of your fear and emotion reduces enough that you're able to actually say the name of the thing. Now, phobias can show up with infinite variety. Spiders, flying, any kind of animal, thing, person, place. The question is, what is it for you? And it may be that you don't even want to say the thing, in which case, give it a code word. Even though I have this fear of S, I deeply and completely accept myself. Repeated three times, even though I have this fear of S, I deeply and completely accept myself. Fear of S, fear of S, fear of S, fear of S. Continuing around all of the points in the sequence. Now the idea of this is not to delay actually working on the issue itself, but it's to take off some of the layers of intensity so that your system, your energy system, and your unconscious mind kind of ag agree to address the problem. So it's, it's like sneaking up on the problem. It may be that after a few rounds you're able to say the thing as it is. Let's say for example, even though I have this fear of flying, I deeply and completely accept myself. Next step is to do a few general rounds stating the fear as it is as long as you feel comfortable doing that. Using the sequence and assessing the intensity before and after using the 0 to 10 scale. When you begin to feel comfortable in that tapping in that general way, then you can start to think what are the particular aspects of this fear that are getting me? Now, I'll give you an example using fear of flying. It could be that the fear begins with the sounds and smells of the airport. So you might want to tap with, even though I get this fear, as soon as I walk into the airport, I deeply and completely accept myself, for example. If you work systematically through each of the component pieces of the fear, the aspects of the fear, so more examples might be fear about the takeoff, fear of turbulence happening during the flight, fear of landing. If you take each of these pieces of the problem and tap using setup phrases and following the sequence, for each piece until you find that you can think about the whole experience of flying without experiencing fear, tension, anxiety in your system, then the chances are that you're going to be okay in the real life situation. Now, as long as you know the tapping points, you are also going to be able to help yourself when you're in the actual situation. So, the next time when you are flying, should another aspect show up, which is all that's happening when you're experiencing some kind of nervousness or anxiety or tension in your body, you'll be able to address it right there, right then. And it's exactly the same whether the phobia is about flying or spiders or some other kind of animal, person, place or thing. You can do this for yourself.